Hello dear viewer, Thrifty Gamer Murdoch X here and today I want to talk to you about discount games. While shopping for PlayStation 2 games, I am occasionally tempted to purchase games out of the discount bins. These titles tend to be awful, but I always wonder if maybe there could be a diamond in the rough. Today we sampled the first game in a 3 pack that I purchased for a dollar from Half Price Books. Out of the deep seas of the Pacific Ocean, the cruise ship SS Fantasy finds itself lost amongst a strange fog. It's 3 a.m. and you're sleeping soundly after a long day in the sun. Suddenly, you are woken to the sound of intense sirens. There is a large crash and you are thrown against the wall. Your vision turns to darkness. When you awake, you find yourself confronted by a strange figure. What happened? How did you end up here? As your senses return, you find yourself on the most beautiful beach you've ever seen. Where did everybody go? Who was the man with the tiki mask? Ah, uh, what happened? Where am I? Our hero wakes to find himself washed up on a tropical island shore. A masked man wielding two weapons stands above him. What could he want? Welcome! To the island. You need to learn your surroundings in order to survive, and you must survive if you want to get off this island. But there is only one way off. <laughs> the man in the tiki mask beckons our castaway. Oh, so you're the newcomer to the island. You don't look like much of a hero. Look at this psychopath. He can see I'm in bad shape and he mocks me. Screw him. The chief will not let you advance until you prove yourself. Alright, I got it. I'll go collect some wood. Just put down your weapons. What the hell's wrong with you? From the beach, our other castaway, Nancy, hears the commotion. Wanting to avoid the tiki man's wrath, she begins to gather wood. I wonder who that girl is. She has to want off this island as much as I do. Perhaps we could plan an escape together. I don't know. She has a weird, guilty look on her face like this is her fault somehow. You know what? I need to get my head out of the clouds. Thinking about girls at a time like this? Survival is all that matters now. First, I need to get this psychopath in a mask off of my back, and then I can worry about escaping this tropical hell. What is that over there? A message in a bottle? I'll just pretend to gather some wood over there and take a quick peek. A word jumble? Did the tiki man leave this here? Is he messing with me? What kind of sick game is this? Whatever, I could use a damn break. Maybe I will have some fun. Okay, let's see. Thirst. Found it. Uh, challenge. Got it. Now, bottle. Wait. Bottle? Thirst and challenge? This is Tiki Man's work. He's screwing with me. Does he want me working on this or the wood gathering? You know what? I want to see how this plays out. Castaway, creature, energy. Wait. Is this a warning? What creature could he be talking about? Tribesman, social, river. This is beginning to sound like a cult. Jungle, hunter, fruit, health. What kind of sick joke is this? Lost, friend, map, fisher, dive, exciting, friends. Hey, did he put friend and friends into this word jumble? What a weird game. Well done, island dweller. For completing my puzzle, I shall reward you with food, wood, skill points, and knowledge of how to build a new home here on the island. Keep up the good work, and perhaps you will be rewarded with some Radio parts. Okay, so you have us gathering wood, and then you teach us how to build huts. Are these for us? I don't want to live here, friend. This is a nice island you've got here, but your amenities suck. 
With no other options, our island dwellers continue to work at chopping down trees and building their home on this wretched island. The hell was that? Ah, oh, crap, we're out of wood. Um, sorry, island god, man. We'll get right on that. Please don't stab anyone. Okay, good. Nancy went back to gathering wood. Nancy, I remember her now. She was the bartender on the cruise liner. She was so nervous the last time we met. I assumed she was just new to the job, but the look of shame she wears now is she involved in this somehow? Damn, out of wood again. Tiki Man is pissed. This guy needs to chill out. I don't know what he expects from us. What? How do we keep running out? How much does this stupid hut need? I don't know how much longer we can keep going. I'm getting thirsty. I can feel my hunger growing. When will we get a chance to sleep? I'm sure Nancy must feel the same. Elsewhere, on a remote part of the island, a man named Aiden follows the noise of the castaway's construction. Peeking out from behind a palm tree, he can see that this pair has built a couple of shelters. He knows that in order to survive, he needs to join them. But would they accept him if they knew his past? Aiden approaches the group, but before he can introduce himself, the Tiki Man interrupts. Good work! You completed a hut and attracted a new castaway to join your village! <laughs> What's next, you must be wondering? Well, let's go ahead and look at your escape progress. Here, I've produced this map that you can follow if you think you have what it takes to escape the island. To progress, you simply have to compete in a few Tiki challenges in mini-games that I've created just for you. <laughs> the Stranded look down upon the Tiki Man's map and see that it leads to the center of the island. Not only to the center of the island, but a volcano. Are they to become sacrifices? Is this the escape the Tiki Man was suggesting? And what of these other games? Can these castaways ever... Escape from Paradise? I'd like to thank Atrocity Guide and Atlas for lending their voice to this video. I'll have links to their channels below. Please take a moment to check them out. I'm curious to know if you think that this video should be continued or if I should move on to other discount games. Let me know. <laughs> if you do want this video series continued, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the same voices because, I mean, these are like important and cool people I talked into this one. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can keep doing that, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs>